Happy dinner time, everybody. The Wall Girls basketball team racked up a 19 and 4 record and route to earning the number five seed for the Class B state tournament. And this afternoon, the Eagles hit the court over at the Monument to take on four seeded Ethan. The wrestlers enter this matchup with a 20 and 2 record. Both teams knotted up at 25 at the break. Ethan's Madeline Barcher doing some damage behind the three point line. She gets this one to fall. Barcher with two triples in the first few minutes of the third quarter. The wrestlers won on a third quarter run. Ava Lingaman drives in, dumps it off to Leah Clock, who lays it up and in for two. Walls Nora Dinger turns defense into offense for the Eagles. A steal on the far side. Dinger takes it the length of the court and finishes with her right. Wall trailed by six at this point. Moments later, Walls Paige Kierstead crashes the boards, tips this, one, tips this one to herself and puts it through the net. The Eagles not going away in this one. However, the wrestlers were tough late. Lingaman back with another assist, this time to Rachel Clock. And Ethan advances to Friday's semis with a 51 45 win over Wall. The Eagles will look to bounce back in consolation action tomorrow afternoon. Top seed at Arlington also on the court to take on James Valley Christian out of Huron at the Class B tourney. Harley Johnson led the Cardinals in the first half. The senior takes it all the way to the hole, creates separation, gets the two footer to fall. Arlington leads it seven to two. Kaylee Robinson working on the other end for the Vikings comes off a double screen. Rayana Hood makes the inside pass for the Hoop. Arlington's Johnson all over the floor now on defense. She walls up, gets the steal, leaks it ahead to Jalen Huntimer, who lays it in with the left. Vikings not going away. Give and go. Inside ends in a missed layup. Addison Knight, though, corrals the offense a rebound, pulls up from 10 and drains it as the Vikings cut the lead to six. Harley Johnson then posts up. And what can't she do out there, folks? She works it inside, kisses it off the glass. She finished with a team high 18 points. Top seed at Arlington moving on to Friday semifinals with a 51 41 win over James Valley Christian. To the Class A tournament in Brookings, where Mapia Luta, also known as Red Cloud, taking on Vermilion. Mapia Luta entered the game unbeaten with a 22 0 record. Ashlyn Blount buries a three to give them the lead. She had 16 points. Vermillion comes out swinging, though, in the second half. Brooklyn Voss is open to the baseline. She gets the jumper to drop to give them the lead. The Crusaders give a strong effort, but it's Vermillion who hangs on to win this one. A tight one, 41 to 37. Now in the other game at the Class A State Tournament this afternoon, top seeded Sisseton knocked off Mount Vernon Plankington 57 to 47. At the Double A State Tournament, Stevens nearly upset top seeded Sioux Falls O'Gorman. It was a nail biter. The game went to overtime. The Knights got the win by the score of 64 to 58. One other game at the Double A State Tournament today, Jack Sioux Falls Jefferson girls knocked off Pier 45-41. So that means. Stevens Stevens plays Pier tomorrow afternoon in consolation action. And more games coming up tonight. Harding County over at the Class B tournament over at the Monument. Just about set to tip things off against the Lyman. I'm headed over there right when we're done with the news. And I'll have the highlights of that big Harding County Lyman game for you. Back here tonight at 9 and 10. And big game for the Spearfish Girls tonight. Spearfish Girls in action at the Double A tourney against Brandon Valley. That game will start about 645. Our time will let you know how that goes as well. Back All right, here thank tonight. Thank you very much, Vic. And when we return.